Let's begin The Shining. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach Books, and welcome back to October. We are on week two of my rereading Stephen King books, and as you can tell about the shirt and probably the thumbnail, maybe not the thumbnail, we might keep it a secret until you watch the video. Um, but today we are going to be reading The Shining. So obviously this falls as my second all-time favorite Stephen King book. And obviously Pet Cemetery was my third all-time Stephen King book. And you can probably guess where one of the next books are going to be. But the fourth one is going to kind of be more of like a secret kind of thing. Where I'm kind of between a couple different options. Um, so we're excited to do this one. Obviously, it is my all-time favorite film, and the book is up there as one of my top Stephen King books and books in general, and so I'm very excited to get to this today. Um, we got a, a vlog for you today. We're going to be doing a couple things. It's kind of chilling out today. It's uh, sunny outside. We're supposed to warm up a little bit, so might hang out with the dog outside. You never know. But, uh, yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for stuff like this, and let's uh, let's begin The Shining. All right, guys. So we are on our way to a bookstore and uh, gonna pick up some lunch. We are. I am actually. I am. She's not reading the book. Um, I'm a little over a hundred pages in, and it is still a glorious masterpiece so far. Um, Jack has just been stung by the wasps in the wasp nest and just needs to pretty much figure out what he's going to do to kind of solve the issue. Obviously, I know what he does to solve the issue, but I'm still very excited to get to this book and reread it again because it's such a good book. I, I'm just enjoying the story so much. It's, it's hard to not like the book any more than I already do. But maybe this reread will help boost it to be maybe my number one Stephen King book of all time. Who knows? But yeah, it's still very good. Like I said, we're on our way to a bookstore and we're going to probably pick up some lunch too. So uh, we'll see you guys when we get back and we'll uh, keep on reading with The Shining. Alright guys, we got home a little while ago and I continued reading. I'm up to page 185 now in The Shining. Uh, so far, still a very phenomenal book. Uh, Jack just got off the phone with Mr. Ullman and was pretty much yelling at him for not telling him the truth about everything with the hotel, so pretty fun stuff. Um, I, I mean, again, I'm just really enjoying the book. I can't, I can't like, hate this book. It's very good. So, yeah, we're just going to pretty much just keep reading and keep going through the day. Might play a game or something like that in a little bit. Uh, play on my iPad, do something like that while I'm reading. So we'll uh, keep on trucking through. Figure to give you guys an update, and we'll uh, just keep on going. All right, guys, it's the next day. Um, we caught up on Only Murders in the Building last night. Which, by the way, is a fantastic show. That's a really good show. Um, <clears throat> We are currently at the golf course, so yet another King reading vlog with some golfing going on, so get ready for some golf chats. Um, but yeah, I read a little bit more last night. I'm at uh, 285, and it's still pretty much just as good as I remember, so. You'll probably finish the book on the golf course, or get real close. There's a chance I can. I've got a little under, got a little under two and a half hours so maybe backwards i don't know um but i could try and read the audio book in it i'm gonna have the airpods in and the audio book it and keep on going through and uh do some golf chats see how see how we can do on the course today uh last time we went i felt a little bit more confident and then the last two holes it started to rain so we had to stop so not fun so it's so again another cloudy day but we'll see how it goes so we'll see you guys in a little bit with an update
All right, I've got about two hours and nine minutes left in the shining. I got to chapter 38. Um, again, it's just very good. Um, as of right now, it has been, um, you can keep going. Um, as of right now, uh, we just had a B. Um, as of now, they pretty much just got, uh, they just did the elevator part, um, where the elevator's kind of going off, and Jack's saying it's just a short circuit. They get to it, and it's not a short circuit. Wendy pulls off a mask from the elevator and some confetti, and things are starting to get a little weird for him. Um, but yeah, no, otherwise it's been relatively tame. Um, the golfing, I'm at like a plus four or plus five right now just pretty average um, normally I do better on the par five that we have over on the back half but I, I lost a couple of balls and also the people who were in front of us who I said were slow they actually let Zach go in front of them so we've kind of been going through quick so there hasn't been an update before and this. normally when I kind of rush myself I usually kind of I don't do as well and when they told me to go through on that par three I think I got a plus one on the first hole, and then from there it's just been kind of plus two, plus two. I got a minus one. I got a birdie on the par five, and then it's been a plus two. He's know. been a little flustered. Yeah, it usually happens when people let me play through. And it's you know it's it's nice to play through, but it's obnoxious. So we'll now I, I got to play on this next hole. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're on page three sixty four of The Shining. Um, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't read it again. Um, I don't know if that will happen or not. Um, it's not a guarantee, but after reading this one so far in Pet Cemetery, it, it's so hard to come up with my top three. It's, it's, it's like one of the hardest decisions ever. Cause like Pet Cemetery could be a number one. The Shining could be a number one. It was a number, it was, is one right now. I'm like pissed. Um, number four, I think, was Green Mile, but I'm not going to be doing that one. So, spoiler on that, I'm not reading the Green Mile. <clears throat> but um, Danny just got in touch with Dick Halloran through The Shining, and Dick's on his way, pretty much, to the Overlook to try and help out. And it it's so frustrating, because... So, can you not decide... Do you still like this more than Pet Cemetery? I would say so. I, it's such a hard thing. Um, I know one of the other ones I wanted to try and reread was Christine. That could still be in play. Salem's, I, I've got other options that I'm trying to bank on here that I might try and do, but it's very hard. Pet Cemetery and The Shining are like, like I said, it, I would need. Do you think this will pass it? There's a chance. I feel like it could end up at number three at the end of this, but I I don't know. I got to reread that one too. I got to reread Salem's Lot. I got to. I, there's a lot I need to reread. But for the month of October, like I said, I got four books set aside. This is the second one, and I got no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I, I really don't. I might not. I like feel like I need to put these in their own category and then rank all the other Stephen King books because these three like are never going to change. But yeah, no, it, it's almost over. Um, uh, the chapter I'm on is 46. It's called Wendy. I'm pretty sure it's when she goes to confront Jack finally after Danny tells her, like, the hotel's evil. So, but yeah, no, we're going to finish this book and um, go from there. So we'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys, I am struggling hardcore right now. I just finished The Shining. I just, I just can't. It, Pet Cemetery, and The Shining are killing me. They're murdering me. Okay. Um. So obviously I have not done it. So I can't like rank that book at the moment. But as of right now, like, oh man, The Shining. It's such a damn good book. I I just can't. 
And I will admit, like, during this, like, almost this entire, like, reread, anytime we filmed a clip of me, I haven't really talked that much about the book. I've just been, like, in awe of the book itself. That's just because of how good it is, A, and B, I don't want to spoil anything if you have not read this book yet. But if you have not read this book yet, what the heck are you doing? Like, pick up this book and read it. It's so good. I... <clears throat> Would you recommend it as a good place to start with King? I think it's kind of ballsy to start with this one. It's it's a very good book and it's one of his top ones. That was one of the biggest things I did not like about my beginning journey with King is I started off with Pet Cemetery, Misery, The Shining, It, The Stand. Like I read like a lot of like my top dogs like to, within the first two months of me reading King. And now I have to go back and reread them so I can talk with them about you guys more like in depth, like during the vlog. And now you have left Rose Matter. <laughs> and, well, yeah, no, I'm not good. Rose Matter, so uh, maybe. Um, but The Shining, as of right now, it's number one. It's it beat out Pet Cemetery, in my ultimate opinion. Pet Cemetery right now sitting at number two. I still have a few more that I need to reread. Um, like I said, this this whole thing is going to be kind of like, kind of see how they re-rank, if there is a re-ranking needed. Um, but I don't know if it is going to be a guarantee if I'm going to be able to get to it by the time October is over. Um, so I do have some other ones that I have on the outside of like my top five and my top ten that I am going to be rereading in hopes of getting them into the top ten. So... Two books down, I got two more I have left. So next week, you will be seeing book number three. Um, again, I don't know which one it's going to be. I got a couple of options here. Danielle and I are still kind of figuring out. Um, obviously in October, you know, it's gonna be decided. The Shining is such a good book. Um, again. <clears throat> what do you rate it? It's, it's like 15 out of five. It's. It, it's a very good book. I, I can't, like, not talk about this book. It's so good. Um, but, yeah, there you have the Shining Reading Vlog. It's finally done. Um, I was very excited to reread this one. Pet Cemetery has been fun. This one was great. Um, and I can't wait to read the next one. So, obviously, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Mm -hmm.